Howdy y'all. Big Country here with Big Country Survival. Um, you see this puppy here? See the dog? Getting in the Easter lilies. <laughs> well, this isn't necessarily an SHTF kind of video. But well, last night, this one decided it was a good idea to mess with the little black cats that had white stripes on their backs. <laughs> Uh, so she got sprayed by a skunk. Um, and you know what? She doesn't stink now. Um, <clears throat> it's a recipe that, uh, we, I washed her. An old recipe that, uh, my, uh, my parents told me about. Um, just common household items and by golly did it work from what I've been told tomato juice they always tell you you know, give a bath in tomato paste or tomato juice whatever and uh, supposedly it doesn't work really well I never tried it um, I've only had one other dog get sprayed before and uh, she was an outside dog so she just kind of lived in it and stunk like a skunk for about a year every time it rained i mean we'd send her to the groomer or you know or we'd we'd give her a bath regular bath whatever and uh yeah it was about a year uh for that one every time it rained you'd still could kind of smell the skunk um but uh so here's the the recipe and kind of the instructions i guess all right so the mix is, uh, the three ingredients are non dishwashing liquid, um, baking soda, and hydrogen peroxide. So you need a quart. You mix a quart of baking, or I mean, not baking, quart of hydrogen peroxide, a teaspoon of Dawn, and a quarter of a cup of, uh, baking soda um and i tell you what and and they they say do not pre-mix it mix it right there wherever you're washing your dog you're like don't don't mix this before and like try and bottle it for later um because they will react and build up a gas and they will kind of they'll make the bottle blow up <laughs> um so I just mixed it up in a coffee can, old coffee can, mixed it all up, poured about, you know, wetted the dog down, poured about half of it on there, um, and rubbed it in, scrubbed her, and uh, rinsed her off. She didn't smell like a skunk. I washed her a second time with the rest of it just to get rid of it, and because you can't really save it, you can't save it, and... Uh, but I washed her a second time just for good measure, and, uh, yeah, yeah, she doesn't stink anymore. <laughs> it's like instantly after I washed, um, washed her off the first time, I'm like, hey, you don't smell like a skunk anymore, you smell like a wet dog. <laughs> no skunk smell. No skunk smell. Anyway, um... That's my little little tip for you guys that have dogs that like to play with the little black and white cats. Um, it works. I can attest to it, and I'm sure it would work on people. And good thing about it is. SHTF, if you mix, you know, if you store Dawn dishwashing liquid, baking soda, and, uh, 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 hydrogen peroxide, it works, like I said. Uh, if you do store those three ingredients, um, you know, you don't have to waste food to get rid of that skunk smell. Um, 
What, girl? Come over here and I'll pet you. <laughs> now that you don't stink anymore. Yeah, I washed her. I washed her last night, but no. Uh... <laughs> I petted her anyway, whether she stink or not. Uh... Anyway, uh, hope this was, uh, you know, informative. Uh, till next time, this is Big Country with Big Country Survival. I am signing out, and God bless.